Do you know which country has the most nuclear-powered warships in the world? Is it China, Russia, or the United States? The answer might surprise you. Stay tuned to find out. Hello and welcome to Sky Sea Channel, the channel that always discusses anything about the sea. Today we're going to reveal who rules the seas by ranking the top 7 strongest navies in the world. Warships are naval vessels that are designed for combat and can carry weapons such as guns, missiles, torpedoes, and aircraft. They are used to protect national interests, project power, and deter aggression on the high seas. But which countries have the most powerful and modern warship fleets in the world? Let's find out. Before we start, make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notified of our latest videos. And don't forget to like and share this video with your friends if you love the sea. We're going to rank the countries based on their true value rating or TVR, which is a formula that takes into account various factors such as total number of warships and submarines, quality and diversity of inventory, local shipbuilding capabilities, force experience, and attack and defense capabilities. The higher the TVR, the stronger the naval power. The data we're using is from WDMMW, a website that tracks global military statistics. So without further ado, let's dive into who rules the seas by ranking the top 7 strongest navies in the world. Number 7. India. Starting off our list at number 7 is India, with a TVR of 99.1. India has a total of 102 warships and submarines, including one aircraft carrier, 10 destroyers, 13 frigates, 16 submarines, 4 amphibious ships, and 23 patrol boats. India's navy is rapidly expanding and modernizing its fleet, with plans to acquire more aircraft carriers, submarines, stealth ships, and missile systems. India's navy is mainly focused on securing its maritime borders and interests in the Indian Ocean and beyond. Did you know that India's navy is also known as the Bharatiya Nau Sena, and that its motto is, Sham Number Varuna, which means, May the Lord of the Water be auspicious unto us. It also has a tradition of naming its ships after gods or goddesses, heroes or heroines, or animals or birds such as Inns Vikramaditya, named after a legendary king of ancient India who was known for his wisdom and valor. Inns Shivalik, named after a mountain range in the Himalayas that is sacred to the Hindu god Shiva, or Inns Chakra, named after a weapon or a symbol of power and energy in Hinduism and Buddhism. Number 6, Japan. At number 6 we have Japan, with a TVR of 121.3. Japan has a total of 102 warships and submarines, including 4 helicopter carriers, 26 destroyers, 10 frigates, 20 submarines, 3 amphibious ships, and 14 patrol boats. Japan's navy is one of the most technologically advanced and well-equipped in the world, with state-of-the-art sensors, weapons, and propulsion systems. Japan's navy is also highly trained and experienced, having participated in various peacekeeping and humanitarian missions. Japan's navy is mainly focused on defending its territorial waters and islands, as well as maintaining stability and security in the Asia-Pacific region. Did you know that Japan's navy is also known as the Japan Maritime Self-Defense Force, and that its motto is, Shuho Jiatai, which means, defending the sea, guarding the nation. It also has a tradition of naming its ships after mountains or rivers, stars or constellations, or flowers or trees, such as J.S. Fuji, named after the highest and most iconic mountain in Japan, J.S. Kirishima, named after a volcanic mountain range in southern Japan, or J.S. Sakura, named after the cherry blossom, the national flower of Japan. Number 5, South Korea. Cracking the top 5 at number 5 we have South Korea, with a TVR of 122.9. South Korea has a total of 138 warships and submarines, including one aircraft carrier, 12 destroyers, 13 frigates, 18 submarines, 10 amphibious ships, and 32 patrol boats. South Korea's navy is also one of the most modern and powerful in the world, 
with indigenous shipbuilding capabilities and cutting-edge weapons systems. South Korea's navy is mainly focused on deterring and defending against North Korea, as well as supporting US-led alliances and operations in the region. Did you know that South Korea's navy is also known as the Republic of Korea Navy, and that its motto is, Hey Gun Imjin, which means, the navy, leading the way. It also has a tradition of naming its ships after historical or patriotic figures or events, such as Rock Se-young the Great, named after the most revered king of Korean history who was known for his cultural and scientific achievements. Rock's Chung Mugong Yi Sun Sin, named after the legendary admiral who defeated the Japanese navy with his ironclad turtle ships in the 16th century, or Rock's Dokdo, named after an island that is claimed by both South Korea and Japan. Number 4. Indonesia Surprising many at number 4 we have Indonesia, with a TVR of 137.3. Indonesia has a total of 242 warships and submarines, including 8 frigates, 24 corvettes, 12 submarines, 4 amphibious ships, and 136 patrol boats. Indonesia's navy is the largest in Southeast Asia and one of the fastest growing in the world, with plans to acquire more warships and submarines to boost its naval capabilities. Indonesia's navy is mainly focused on protecting its vast archipelagic waters and interests, as well as cooperating with other regional and international navies. Did you know that Indonesia's navy is also known as the Tentara Nasional Indonesia Angkatan Laut, and that its motto is, Jalaveva Jayamahi, which means, on the sea we are glorious. It also has a tradition of naming its ships after heroes or heroines, provinces or islands, or weapons or animals, such as Kri Diponegoro named after a national hero who fought against Dutch colonialism in the 19th century, KRI Bali, named after an island that is famous for its culture and tourism, or KRI Nala, named after a type of sword used by Indonesian warriors. Number 3, Russia At number 3 we have Russia, with a TVR of 242.3. Russia has a total of 265 warships and submarines, including one aircraft carrier, 15 destroyers, 13 frigates, 59 submarines, 6 amphibious ships, and 41 patrol boats. Russia's navy is also one of the most formidable and diverse in the world, with nuclear-powered vessels and strategic weapons systems. Russia's navy operates globally, protecting its interests and influence, as well as challenging NATO and other rivals. Did you know that Russia's navy is also known as the Russian navy, and that its motto is, Slava Rossi? which means, glory to Russia. It also has a tradition of naming its ships after saints or heroes, cities or regions, or concepts or qualities, such as Admiral Gorshkov, named after a former commander-in-chief of the Soviet Navy who was known for his reforms and innovations, Moskva, named after the capital and largest city of Russia, or Pyotr Veliki, named after Peter the Great, the founder of the Russian Navy and the first emperor of Russia. Number 2. China Coming in at number 2 we have China, with a TVR of 319.8. China has a total of 422 warships and submarines, including two aircraft carriers, 36 destroyers, 54 frigates, 76 submarines, 37 amphibious ships, and 83 patrol boats. China's navy is the largest in the world by number of vessels and one of the most rapidly expanding and modernizing in the world with plans to acquire more aircraft carriers, stealth ships, and missile systems. China's navy is mainly focused on asserting its claims and interests in the South China Sea and the East China Sea, as well as projecting power and influence globally. Did you know that China's navy is also known as the People's Liberation Army Navy, and that its motto is, Zhang Hai Wei Zhangguo, which means, fight on the sea for China. It also has a tradition of naming its ships after provinces or cities, mountains or rivers, or historical or cultural figures or events, such as Liaoning, named after a northeastern province of China that was once a part of Japan, Kunlun Shan, named after a mountain range in western China that is considered sacred in Chinese mythology, or Zheng He, named after a famous Chinese explorer and admiral who led seven naval expeditions to Southeast Asia, India, and Africa in the 15th century. Number 1, United States. And finally, 
At number 1, we have the United States, with a TVR of 323.9. The US has a total of 490 warships and submarines, including 11 aircraft carriers, 91 destroyers, 22 frigates, 68 submarines, 33 amphibious ships, and 13 patrol boats. The US's navy is the most powerful and dominant in the world, with unmatched capabilities and reach. The US's navy operates globally, protecting its interests and allies, as well as maintaining peace and security. Did you know that the US's navy is also known as the United States Navy, and that its motto is, non sibi sed patria, which means, not for self but for country. It also has a tradition of naming its ships after presidents or statesmen, states or cities, or battles or wars. Such as USS Abraham Lincoln, named after the 16th president of the US who led the country through the Civil War. USS Texas, named after the second largest state in the US that was once an independent republic, or USS Enterprise, named after one of the most decorated aircraft carriers in US history that served in World War II. So there you have it, who rules the seas by ranking the top 7 strongest navies in the world. Did you find any surprises? Do you agree or disagree with this ranking? Let us know in the comments below. And if you learned something new or enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Sky Sea Channel for more amazing content about anything related to the sea. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.